Those poor hashish-deprived tribes, man, north of the Axis, yeah, they could only imagine the party, the Balkistani, bulk hashish and bulk parties, never ended. Yeah, ooh. Uh, well, Alexander the Great didn't miss his chance on uh, getting his hands on the bulk, never decaying the hashish. Five years from Greece to India to the Jhelum River, where he battled King Porus and his 23,000 troops and war elephants. And then they had to cross Persia first. I mean, I've crossed Persia seven times by land. I, I didn't make it hardly a lot of those times, boy. They're tough, those Persians, huh? Especially in the bathhouses, steamy. You're looking good, young, Beatles haircut. Come up from behind, bar slippery soap, wanting to uh uh you. Well, the Macedonians had to deal with that. Well, when they hit bulk, I mean, they're headed for India, but they went too far north. <laughs> they missed the Khyber Pass completely. Um, they, um, they went through bulk. And oh, oh, they stopped for oh, a pause for two years, two of the five years of their battling and slaughter and everything they could see, they like, hmm, hookah break, the longest hookah break. Well, it was a marathon, it was a Greek marathon. And they just hook it up for two years before they, ooh, King Paris, war elephants. After that, they like, let's, can we go home now? Fuck the Ganges and all the hell was supposed to be over there in Hindustan. Troops revolted. Oh, Alexander, yeah, he, he sulked big time in his tent and then, okay, head for home. Well, uh, Uzbeks, north of the bulk, yeah, mm -hmm. they had a given an arm and a leg to be enlightened how to preserve their stash through the winter, yeah. When was this fucking red man from the south ever going to show up and turn us on to solve? <laughs> The mystery hey. of the moving hashes. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, well, they see Omar smearing his body with the red, red sloppy Kush bush uh, juice, and they're they're obscene. They're obscene hand gestures. Just a second ago, turned into oh. They press their palms together in pious prayer. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Well, the, uh, Gulag, one of them, he, he was a smuggler. He would do the Mazari Sharif ba Baku run all the time. G or could speak a Pashto. Uh, he said, uh, well, hey, uh, Red Man, Malung, uh, take my wife. Take my wife. Uh, he strips off. Uh, her clothes and uh, points to her, you know, abundant breasts, pointy nipples. Wait there. Wait, wait. Don't move. Uh, we're going to come and pick you up. Oh, bring the chick in the back of the Zach. Oh, uh, a love attack. Okay. Uh, well, off they go, huh? Three Uzbeks and the chick in the back. Paddle, 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 like they never have before. They cannot believe this, the possibility that they have solved the legend. They stand over Omar, he's thrashing. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, well, Omar, <laughs> he's walked a long way mm -hmm. from Balk, 80 kilometers now. Huh? Uh, took perhaps too many magic mushrooms. Oh, sunstroke. Ah, ooh, oh, a desert gnats. Ah, ooh, ah, <laughs> driving them just ah.
And to confirm that Omar is the true Messiah, as foretold by their, well, moldering prophets of yore, uh, the Uzbeki uh, Becky band, as they shout down at him excitedly, uh, Stand, stand, are you the man Stan? Well, uh, in his dust-choking, cushberry driven sense of delirium, uh, Omar, oh, he sees, he sees, oh, he sees uh, two turbans. Oh, and a beautiful Uzbeki uh, naked. Uh, uh, it sounds to him like he's saying, uh, man, 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 Stan. Well, man, Stan, in Pashtu, means land of man. Afghanistan, land of Afghanis, Uzbekistan, land of Uzbekis. There's a pattern here. Stand means land of, got that? Well, uh, yeah, and the utter oh, oh, universality of this concept, it never had, had flickered through his mind before that he, his body itself is the land of man. Oh, uh, uh, he is mankind and mankind is, ah, him, ouch. Uh, well, uh, even more enlightened, more unleavened, uh, towards heaven. Yeah, I mean, the same thing. Look, what happened? The Tibetan guru, uh, yeah, Naropa, he had, a, he had to whack his dumbest disciple, Talopa, on the head with his sandal. We're talking a, a leather sandal, rough bottom, bam, oh, or Muma to them, ah, rifle butt, ooh. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, the guy invented the saxophone, fell down flight of stairs when he was like a year old. I mean, these injuries to the head often turn somebody on, huh? Whatever it takes. I mean, okay, look. Uh, Omar, yes, yes, I am the stand forever. And I'm the man of Stan, I have been, and I always will be. Oh, uh, well, holy shit. Awestruck, the Uzbek excitedly shout down. Omar, final confirmation here. Prophecy. <laughs> Are you from bulk? Are you the, uh, you know the secret? Well, Omar, his enlightenment is complete. At last recognized. That's right. By total strange.